Hi guys, it's Sherry. Today we're going to be making a leaf bowl. And the first thing that you're going to need are two large leaves. So I just went out in my yard and I picked two, um, two leaves that were fairly similar to each other. And they're a little bit different in size, but that's okay. And then you're going to get a bunch of different colors. So I just went through my scrap clay and I'm pulling out different colors that I have. And then I'm just going to roll these out onto my third thickest setting. And you can see these are all just a bunch of different greens. So I'm going to kind of tear these apart and just get them thin and run them through my pasta machine fairly quickly. And then we will start on this project. Okay, so you can see I have all different colored greens and then I put some red and some pinks and some yellows and then I had like this goldish color that was left over. So pick just some fall colors and like I said, I'm using scrap clay because I thought this would be perfect to use up a bunch of my scrap. So the first thing that we are gonna do is just take and start tearing up our colors. And nothing has to be a certain size. We just want to tear it up. And I'm gonna do a little bit of each color because I know I'm not gonna need a ton of this clay because they're all getting put together. Okay, so once you have everything torn up, mix it up fairly well. We want to kind of get our colors all mixed up nicely so it's not all the same color everywhere. So just kind of crumble it all up together. And then just put them all in a pile and then mush it together here. Get your roller and just roll it out slightly. We're going to kind of blend it all together. And now we are going to run this through our pasta machine once on our thickest setting. see all the colors. Now we're going to do that one more time because now we'll have all these little edges showing as well. So break up your pieces the same way you did before. And this time I'm taking a little bit smaller pieces. I'm not doing it as big. This way I get a blend of beautiful colors all together. Okay, let's mix these up. And we're gonna do the same exact thing. Look how beautiful that's starting to look. Okay, now I'm going to run this through my pasta machine once again on my thickest setting. And look how gorgeous. How beautiful is that? The colors came through so nice. So now we're gonna want to take off our stem part here. And we're gonna do this on both of them. 
And I want to see and make sure we have plenty of room. So I need to bring this up a little bit further. So I'm just gonna stretch this a little bit. Because I wanna make sure that my leaf is going to completely fit. There we go. I'm going to carefully press your leaf into that. I'm going to roll that on. Try to get any air pockets out. Now I'm going to get my X Acto knife and then I am going to follow this and I will edge my entire piece here. Okay. So once you have your leaf completely cut out, Let's put this all off to the side. You're gonna to wanna to carefully lift it off. We're going to place this one over the best that we can and kind of just press it in to get those imprints. And it may not match up perfect, but we're okay with that. We just want to get those impressions. So just match it up the best you can. Okay, so that's what we have. I like to carefully take this off. There we go. If you have a little bit that's stuck and you can't get off, that's okay because we could wash it off afterwards. Just get off what you can. And I have a bowl here. And this will be my back side, and this is going to be my front. So I want to lay this in my bowl of how I want it to bake. So I'm going to make sure that it's pressed up nicely. And I'm going to push these over. So I want that to bake down. And I'm going to straighten out all my little leaves, the ends, because sometimes they curl. And 
Now I'm gonna bake this at 275 because this is all Primo clay and I'm gonna bake it for a half hour at the recommendation of it. But after it's done, I am gonna let it completely cool before I take it out. So bake it and then let it cool and then take it out. All right, guys, so my piece is out of the oven. It's completely cooled off and look how beautiful this came out. I am super pleased with this. The colors are just amazing. How perfect is this for um, fall time? So our next step is gonna be to get all these details of the veins to show. So I have my red paint and I'm going with red because I love the red in this. And all I'm gonna do is go right in and I'm gonna make sure that I'm pushing this into my veins. And I'm gonna do little sections at a time because you have to wipe this paint off. I have my paper towel here and I'm just going to start wiping this. I'm going to get it a little wet and don't have it too wet. But you see how the veins are showing now? So that's what you want. You want all those little veins to show. So just go over and push that paint right in to each one of those veins. If you wiped off too much, go right over it again. Look how beautiful. So I see I need a little bit more here. And that's our bowl. How beautiful is that? So we're gonna let this completely dry for right now. And I'm gonna get my um, gold paint ready and we're gonna do the edges. So to do the edges, I am just going to go right over with my gold paint. You could use your fingers if you want, but I think it's easier to get into all the little areas with a paintbrush. And I like how, you see how it's kind of pulling up over that? That's exactly what I want. So I'm kind of putting it right up to the edge. So it pulls over to the top and leaves like almost like a um, outline. Okay, so I'm gonna let that 100% dry before we do anything else. And so far, I am loving what I am seeing. Okay guys, so I decided I wanted to add something to this. So I took the scrap from here and I kind of just ran it through my pasta machine real quick. And I wanna add something here because I think this is a little bit too open. As much as I love this bowl, I feel like it needs like a cool um, stem. 
So I have my scrap from this and I am just gonna take my maple leaf stamp and I'm gonna put some nice impressions on here. And now I have these beautiful leaves, if you can see that, and print it into there. I'm going to cut this straight. And then I am going to kind of measure by this. Okay. So that'll give me an idea. I'm just going to lay this on here for right now. And I'm going to give it a little wave. And I'm going to bring this down just a bit. And then I am going to put some um, oven baked clay adhesive on here. And I'm just going to add this right to the bottom. going to carefully push this on here and kind of blend it. I'm going to smooth that right into my bowl. Get the sides as well. And I'm going to paint this um just to make it match because once you once i blend it all that color together it just kind of turned brown and yucky so i'll get my bowl again i'll just set that right back in there and then i am going to get a piece of tin foil Kind of wrap that tin foil right around your bowl. And I did roll this out to my uh, thickest setting. And there. Now I will place this back into my oven again. And then um, once it cools off, we'll be able to paint this up a little bit and finish it completely. All right, guys. So my piece is out of the oven. Everything is cooled off. And now I want to paint this so it blends real nice together with the rest of the piece. So I'm going to start out on the back. And I have my green, red, and yellow. And I am just gonna use my finger and make this go real, real simple. So I'm just gonna take paint, put it on my hand or on my finger, and then I'm just gonna dab in different areas. 
So I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm gonna just kind of spread it along. Because you can see, it just looks like things are kind of spread around. So that's what we are gonna do. Let's get the front a little bit. And where it has the color, I'm not gonna go over too much of that. I just wanna get the brown mainly. And I love that you can see those little leaves that we imprinted on there. So that'll kind of be brought out as we paint over it. And I'm gonna save the yellow for last because that is the lightest color. Some of it smears, that's okay. I'm gonna leave a little bit of the brown there because we do have brown in our piece. Just kind of go take your yellow and just mush it like right over so it kind of looks like it's blended. And that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm gonna put some Sculpey glaze on it and then our piece will be ready to go. All right, guys, it's done, it's dried, it looks beautiful, I love it. I really think this came out great. I thought this technique was such a fun one. I really hope you guys enjoy creating this piece with me. And if you haven't used this technique before, I hope you enjoyed learning it. And if you did enjoy this video, please help me out by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.